going to show you a jig I designed for making tongs on the power hammer. This jig is very simple, efficient, and accurate. Uh, I think you'll agree with me on that when you see how it operates. I'm going to show you the jig, point out some of the features, and then we'll do it in real time. And uh, since the hammer makes a little bit of noise, uh, you probably won't be able to hear me talk, so uh, the front part of this video uh, will be the explanation of everything, and then you'll see how it happens. Uh, I'm the only person here, so I have no remote, so uh, you'll have to excuse me walking back and forth. This is the uh, die that I've designed. Uh, it's made entirely of mild steel. Uh, it's designed to fit over the uh, bottom die of my Saymac 60 hammer. Uh, the measurement of the lower die is 3 inches by 6 inches, and as you can see, this simply fits down over and uh, bolts through uh, holes in the die. Um, explaining this a little bit, uh, this top piece is a, simply a kiss block. Uh, the arm here is going to uh, designate our offset, and uh, if you look closely at this, uh, there's five eighths of an inch between the bottom and uh, this arm. So this die was actually designed to be used with either five eighth inch round, five eighth square, or three quarter inch round. Uh, any other sizes don't seem to work quite as well. Uh, there is a difference between uh, the height of this block and this block, which is three eighths of an inch, and if you notice, there's a little bit of a radius here, so there are no sharp edges. So as we begin our sequence, uh, the steel is inserted into the jig, and if you'll notice here, there are two marks. They're simply arbitrary, which tells me uh, how far in I, uh, or how much uh, material I want on the uh, working end of my uh, tongs. So that determines it. So what we're going to do is to drive this arm down, and that will give us our offset. So as we hammer that down, that gives us the offset, and you can see basically what's happening. Once again, the top die on the air hammer comes down, and it stops right here on this kiss block, which gives us 5 eighths of an inch. Now the distance between here and here is about 5 eighths of an inch also. So after driving that down, I remove the uh, arm. I take the, uh, take the uh, piece we've just bent, and I'm going to put it on this block, and I have another arbitrary line back here. So I'm going to come into that point with the, uh, the top end of the boss toward the outside, and I'm going to drive that down. And, and as I do that, this is what's going to happen to it. You can, you can see how it's offset right in here. That's our radius on this die, this piece of the die. So I'm going to drive that down, I'm going to come in with it. Remember, I can. There's only uh, there's three eighths of an inch difference between this block and the kiss block. So no matter what, I'll always have a three eighth inch thick uh, boss to go with. Uh, the reins can be drawn out to whatever. So I'm going to work it this way, and I'm going to come over to this trough a little bit. I'm going to hammer down here, and I'm going to work it in this way. Come back over, work it in this way a little bit, bring it back to this point again lower the arm and clean this up, flatten everything out. If there's any heat left after that, we can draw this uh, part of the reins out on this uh, piece of uh, steel right here. But uh, the sequence moves pretty quickly and uh, it's, it's very accurate uh, since all the measurements are marked off on the uh, jig itself. So we'll go to the hammer and do this in uh, real time and uh, you'll see what I mean, but it gives you a nice finished piece.